Welcome to Digital Asset News. My name is Rob, and today I want to do an update on a video we did in uh, April of 2022 where it talks about uh, what's going on with the markets and why things are chopping sideways, taking uh, precipitous falls, and when, even when people are saying that things are priced in, they really aren't priced in. Just to kind of give a, a sense of what's going on. And uh, in actuality, if you're if you're trading crypto or holding crypto, what does it matter? It's just, it's just something to wrap your head around. There's a great quote from John Maynard Keynes, the uh, economist, where he says, markets can remain irrational longer than you can remain solvent. So even though there's a lot of good uh, opportunities out there, a lot of good projects, it just seems there's a lot of uh, irrationality for the market. And you have to remember that the markets are put together by people. So I uh, wanted to replay this video just to give people a sense of kind of what's going on and uh, as far as the irrationality. And it really comes down to, to bots and emotions and things that are going on. So I'll make this quick. So this is the original video. I want to talk to you about why I think uh, is one of uh, the culprits for why the market seems to either chop sideways or take enormous or small dips uh, throughout time, specifically when there's certain news that comes about. And I'm going to make this uh, short and sweet, so we're not going to go over 20, 30 minutes. It's going to be about five. So let's just jump into it. This is the reason or one of the reasons why. I think there's a problem. So if we take a look at uh, the markets, I think you already know this. Today is the 22nd. It's about 10 a.m. here, mountain time, uh, El Paso, Texas time. And uh, we saw quite a bit of a, of a drop off yesterday. Uh, Bitcoin down 6% in 24 hours, six. And of course our market cap was uh, doing pretty well, 2 trillion, 2.1 trillion. Then all of a sudden just seems to, to drop off. Now there's some winners around here. I don't need to tell you that because you check your portfolio all the time. So the question is, what the heck happened? And before I take a look at the correlation between S&P 500 and NASDAQ, I want to play this video. This is from Fast Money, CNBC. In this first minute and a half or so, they're going to talk about exactly what happened. So just take a listen. And the next part is going to be very pertinent to why I believe that this market will either chop sideways or continue to go down throughout 2022. Not that there can't be a good rally, but I think this is something that you need to know before you do any trading. So just take a listen. I mean, the VIX was up 11 percent. But if you look across sectors, some of the some of the destruction was was awful. In fact, uh, I, I listened to those Powell comments. And to me, uh, again, evoking uh, and in a glorious way, Paul Volcker and talking about a guy who, who basically crushed and rubbed out inflation in a way where actually uh, there was a sense that you no longer had to worry about that. It sounds like that that's his goal. And I would go back to Van Halen again and say uh, their next album, I believe, was called Diver Down. Uh, and that the minute we heard this, the minute the bond market got up to 295, you absolutely had a case here where the equity market sold off. And again, the destruction wasn't just in retail, wasn't just in, in some of the high tech names. It was look at the resources space. Look at uh, these are demand destruction type reactions from a market that listened to Powell. Again, a Fed that hasn't hiked 50 BIP since 2000, hasn't gone back to back on meetings since 2006. I know the Fed is telegraphing, um, but people seem to be taking this for granted. This is not insignificant. So yeah, that's what happened yesterday. And we had known about this. Everybody's talking about it. Jerome Powell came out and said, hey, we're going to raise rates. And uh, he's gone from a little bit, uh, a little more hawkish, we would say, right? But the thing is that everybody said, don't worry about it. Everything's priced in. We already know it. It doesn't matter if he does two hike rates, six hike rates, which he's planning on doing. Actually, I think it's even more than that now. Six, seven, or eight. It's all priced in. It's all priced in. The thing is, if it was all priced in, what happened to the market? So the next person who's going to talk, this is Steve Grasso. And before he talks, I'm just going to tell you, this is who he is. Steve Grasso, uh, Wall Street, New York Stock Exchange pedigree. Uh, he is also uh, the CEO of Grasso Global. And if we take a look here, he began his career work on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange in 1993. So he's been around and he, he's managed uh, some pretty big profiles. So the question is, is he's going to be asked is, well, why did this happen? Why did the sell off? And I think it's really important to what he says. So I'm going to play this, just take a listen. And this is the crux of why I think things are going to just chop sideways for quite some time. I, I think it's. You know, guys said fair, fair warning. Maybe it's feign warning. I, I don't know if they're really going to do what they say they're going to do. And I, and I said, th I said this weeks ago. To me, it's almost as the more transparent they become, the more I second guess what they're actually saying. Why do we sell off? Uh, because it's a knee-jerk reaction, and most of this stuff is done by computers versus human beings. Because as soon as the Fed speaks, you have tape-reading algorithms these days that actually sell the stock ahead 
based on words versus based on actions. So I would expect the market to actually bounce back tomorrow. But I do think, and General Mills has said this, markets have been jumping in a weird fashion, and it's not a real rally. And Guy has said this. I think Tim has said it as well. It almost feels as if it's a synthetic bounce where people are looking to sell those pops versus mm -hmm. buy those dips. Yeah. So, yeah, a couple of things to break down there. That was a great point Steve said. Now, I knew about bots. I understand there's a lot of trading bots, especially in crypto and even the traditional finance. But when I heard about this, about uh, the algorithm as far as tape reading, just as soon as something comes out, now it makes a lot of sense. Even though there are some rational people in the market, people potentially like you and me, uh, it's not about who is rational, who is irrational. It really comes down to the bots. And then of course, once the bots start to get in, it's a cascade effect. Then you have more people who may be rational and see what's going on, especially TA traders and go, you know what? This is sliding down. I need to sell off. I need to sell off. I need to sell off. And it just keeps happening and happening, and happening. But what Steve said right there, made a lot of sense. And the second thing he said was, I believe that the market will actually rebound uh, because it's just bots and there's a lot more rational people out there in the market. Well, that's not so much the case. If we take a look at S&P 500, right now it is uh, 10 a.m. here mountain. That means it is uh, high noon over on Eastern time. So the market's been open for about three and a half hours or so. Here's what we got. S&P continues to decline. And also NASDAQ also continues to, to decline. So the question that remains, how far are we gonna go? Nobody knows. So the thing is, before you make those trades, before you do those things, this is not financial advice. This is just financial opinion. I think you should really take a look at the trading that you are up against and the people that you are up against and the people that actually go, I'm not a big trader. And I think it makes a real good case for just dollar cost averaging. I can't beat bots, it's very tough, especially the ones that do microtransactions, uh, millions per second. However, market goes up, market goes down. I'm in here for the long time, time in the market, I think is more important than timing the market. And that's it. I want to make this short and sweet because every time this comes out, I will probably replay this video so people can actually see it. And uh, that is it for today. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.